Hey everyone, how's it going? It's James here from Soundline Christchurch. Welcome back to another video. Today is hopefully going to be a really cool one. I'm going to do my best to film it, but we'll see how things go. Basically tonight we have an awesome audio research and Sonos Faber event planned. So what that essentially means is we've got, uh, after work tonight, we've got a bit of an event going on. We've got a whole bunch of new audio research gear. We've got new Sonos Faber speakers, which you may have seen in my last video. All of our other Sonos Faber, uh, Sonos Faber speakers set up, everything's running. We're gonna have some clients here that we really like or some you know, customers of ours. And they're basically gonna come and hang out with us, listen to some systems, see what they think. And we're just all just gonna have a drink and some a bite to eat and a good time. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna film this video tonight cause uh, I don't wanna stick the camera in anyone's face and annoy them. But again, I do want to give you guys some content. Um, but I thought first before everyone gets here cause everyone is actually out at lunch at the moment, I might take you guys on a bit of a tour of the showroom at the moment because it's a bit different than normal and show you some of the really cool sound systems we've got set up at the moment. So for starters, you'll notice that this uh, showroom, our main showroom here, isn't set up like normal. If you want to see how this showroom is um, normally set up, I will post a little card up here on the you know video a bit later on. You guys can check that link out and see what you think. So yeah, this is our main showroom floor. What we've got going on here at the moment, we don't actually have much of a sound system going on in this room. Because this is basically where we're all gonna, you know, interact and talk and mingle. And uh, we've got a, a guy from Sonus. We've got a guy from Audio Research here, all the way from America. His name's David. He's really cool. He's gonna do some talking and let people know about the product. But uh, yeah, let's let's just take a tour of the room. In this little cave or booth area here, where we normally have a TV and stuff like that, we've got our little casual system going on. Nice wee Audio Research integrated amp. VS, VS1 7i, oh sorry, VSi 7.5. There we go. Getting some audio from this Meridian, uh, audio, Meridian audio streamer. We're playing music to that from the Rune app on our tablet from the server. And that's hooked up to these uh, nice Sonos Faber Olympica 1s. Pardon me, Olympica 2s. I really love the finish of these speakers. The nice satin wood grain. Really, really good. So we're basically going to use that system just to uh, have some music going on in the background. If you're interested about the interconnects or the cables, we've got some Shinyata Delta speaker wires going to them from the amplifier, the integrated amplifier. Some Kimber Select RCA interconnects going from the Meridian streamer to the first analog input of the integrated amp. Nice great big Shinyata power cable there. And that's just about the gist of it because that's a really small system. Uh, we've got a set of Sonus Faber Serafinos, just casually sitting here, you know, a pair of $40,000 speakers, me, just, just sitting. These are just out looking all pretty, showing people what the front side of it looks like, and the back because the Serafinos have this really cool great big slot port that goes all the way down the back of it. Nice and shiny. Look at that sheen. Audio Research uh, Ref 75, Ref, Reference Series 75, we're going to have this turned on and lit up just for the night, just because, you know, it's mainly an audio research night. We've got the audio research guy here, so we've got this amp out front and centre lit up, looking pretty, and uh, yeah, decoration. Over here we've uh, got one of our racks, which is normally in the music room. Um, at the moment it's just holding all of our records that we sell, so if people want to flick through our records or maybe buy something, they can have a look there. Some Sonus Faber brochures, subwoofers. Those subwoofers are not being used in any way, shape or form. That's just the easiest place we could find to put them they're all from our theatre and that. Um, just easier to put them there than lug them upstairs, you know. I really didn't want to carry them upstairs being how heavy they are out of their packages, you know, in case they drop one or whatever. Hopefully that wouldn't happen. Um, and packaging them back up into their polystyrene and cardboard packages can be a mission in itself. So it's just easier to put them out of the way there. Uh, the uh, equipment rack room, which for the most part looks the same. Those chairs are going to be used in our theatre later on for some listening. Over here, we've got our big rack, which has been moved. Got some Sonus Faber speakers, some Meridian speakers. Here we've got a complete lineup of VPI turntables. VPI Prime Scout. VPI Prime Signature. And the big bad boy, the $30,000 one. This is the uh, 
BPI Avenger. Really nice turntable. This is a uh, this is interesting. Like these are belt driven, as you can see, they've got a nice wee belt. This one is what's called direct driven, I believe. So we've actually got a rubber band belt here going from two separate motors around the base of this, which turns this. And you can see there that actually rides against it. So it's direct drive. Well, no, pardon me, that's not correct. Direct drive is something else entirely. This is rim, rim drive, is that correct? I think so. Yeah, that's a really cool turntable either way. And then we've also got a whole Accuphase lineup, which is just gonna be sitting there casually, all lit up. Look, we could probably turn those on now, I think. We'll get them, uh, get them glowing. There we go. There we go, now they're all glowing and looking good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that room. We'll go into our theater now, which is normally where we have like a uh, projector screen with a bunch, with some surround sound and we watch movies and that. But we're using it for a secondary music room at the moment. So we're put our sort of, if that's our C class system, we've got our B class and then our A class is in the uh, music room here. So we'll show you what we've got in here. Damn, that door's really good at cutting our sound, isn't it? So, I'm just gonna turn the lights on fully because otherwise the camera's gonna struggle to distinguish between like the gear and the bright screen. So speakers. Let's turn this down a wee bit. So we got some Sonos Faber Olympica 3s. Olympica 3s in high gloss black. Wow, that's a mirror finish. You would think that's a mirror, but it's black. That's incredible. Yeah, Olympica 3s. Really, really nice speakers. Got a nice Amadeus 254 turntable up here by Well Tempered Labs. Not being used at the moment, but it's set up ready to go. Got a Meridian 818. This is a this is like a endpoint or a DAC. We're also streaming audio to this from the Rune app on our iPad. Uh, it's basically a souped up version of that thing I showed you in the first cave there. Much, much, much higher sound quality coming out of this thing. And then for a preamp section, we've got the Audio Research. We've got the Audio Research LS28. There we are. LS28, nice preamp. Hmm, bit warm. And then the uh, power amp, this is a stereo power amp. Got the valves back there. This is the VT80. Cables, we've got some nice Kimber Select power cables. These are the Monocle XLs. Oh, we do have a, um, a, a phono stage and a power supply for our turntable back here. So this is our Dynavector, um, oh, was it? P, Dynavector P75 Mark IV and a well-tempered um, control power supply for the turntable. Kimber cable, ascent power cable for the streamer and for the Preamplifier, decent plug box back there for the rest of the gear. The power amp is being powered straight off the wall. Don't worry about that. That's pretty much the gist of this room. Also, we have got um, a couple of these sound deadening corner battens in each of the corners here. So we've got one there and one there. And that's just kind of preventing um, any bass or mid range getting kind of trapped in that corner and lost. Funny room that, we actually had a bit of trouble getting speakers to sound good in it if I'm totally honest. We spent like a good few hours moving speakers around to prevent standing waves and just getting it really fine tuned in. It's just because it's a perfect, you know, rectangle. So a lot of standing waves in there. And now, so moving on through to the uh, main listening room. By the way, we have got some, uh, some Olympica ones and some chameleons there. And then over here, we've got some veneers, nicely finished wood grain veneer there. This is a uh, record cleaner. For those of you wondering about this transformer here. This TV, we just got a bit of a, uh, a nice um, Sonos Faber and Audio Research YouTube playlist playing on loop, just so it's something to, anything, something to look interesting to look at, you know? So that's just playing in the background. Moving on through to the music room. This is where the cool stuff is. Right, you do have some seating laid out, couch at the back there. So let's start over here at the racks. So for power, We've got the Isotech Aquarius down there, just distributing power to everything except for the power amplifiers. We've got our Antipodes EX uh, music server and streamer. So that's actually the hard drive. So that's the hard drive that holds all the music that we're playing to our two streamers out there and this DAC that we've got here, which I'll show you in a second. Above that, we've got the Well-Tempered Royale 4000. 
This thing is a beast. Look at my hand on it. It's huge. This toenail is well over a foot long. It's a massive toenail. Got a really nice. I wonder if I can focus on this or not. The, uh, the stand that that's sitting on is actually specifically built for that turntable. They make their turntable so big that you have to buy their stand with it for it to something to sit on. So yeah, that's a really cool turntable. To the left of all of this, I'm just going to turn the volume down. To the left of all of this, we have our audio research rack. Here we have the brand new DAC 9, audio research DAC 9. This is the very first one in New Zealand ever had to have it for the night everyone's asking us about it so that's really really good deck that is converting the audio from our um antipodes server down there into balanced output and then running into our preamplifier which by the way is this one here this is our preamplifier this is the reference six audio research preamplifier i think i might just see if i can show you this as well because this as well as the phono stage have nice clear acrylic tops on them you can actually see down inside them there you go you can see the internal workings of it Really, really cool. And believe it or not, having a clear acrylic top actually makes it sound better. Go figure, it makes it sound better. Right, so that is the DAC, the preamplifier. This here is the phono stage. So that all that's doing is converting audio from the turntable to balanced line output to run into the amplifier, uh, the preamplifier, pardon me. So this is the reference phono 3 vacuum tube preamplifier. Very, very nice. Again, acrylic top, you can see into it. It's looking all good. You can see the valves in there actually. And by the way, this is a soul to soul rack. Very, very nice uh, rack for hi-fi gear. You'll notice it's actually a triangle. So you've got three legs, one, two, three at the back. Tri you'll uh, probably find amongst the high-end or hi-fi community that triangle racks are a lot more preferred or better sounding because triangles can twist, which allows them to absorb a little bit more motion or vibration than what a square one can, because squares, they, they don't really twist very well. In fact, now this may make it look like poor build quality. It's actually very good build quality, but it's meant to do this. See that? Like it wobbles, meant to do that. Right, so that is the pre-stage, pre-amplifier, source and pre-amplifier. By the way, the cables for all this, I've got some uh, Isotec power cables for the pre-amplifier, sorry, for the DAC and for the Phono stage, some Isotex. For our preamplifier, we've got a really nice Shinyata one here. Look at the size of this thing. And then this uh, turntable has its own power supply, which is sitting in there. And all that's being powered off this Isotec here. I'll probably show you the back of it. <sighs> if I just zoom in there, there's all our power plugs going in. Basically a big, a high-end, great big power brick and power cleaner, or power conditioner, that's the correct word. Right, moving on to the really cool stuff from the source and preamplifier stage. I'm gonna turn this around. So we've got the Sonus Faber El Criminis, El Criminese, however you want to pronounce it. These are the speakers that we unboxed in my last video, if you watched that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check that video out. It's quite cool, we get to unbox these from the shipping containers. I'll put a link up in the top here. So what's powering those is two of these bad boys. We've got two audio research Reference 160M. These are one channel power amplifiers. That one powers that speaker, that one powers that speaker. One channel each only. And they are also sitting on some really nice soul to soul uh, power amplifier stands. At the back here we've got some really cool wiring going on. Got some Kimber, um, Kimber cable 5 meter interconnects. That's the XLRs running all the way down here and into the back of each amplifier input in the middle. Each amplifier has a Shinyata Cobra series um, power cord running to its own outlet and the speaker wires are these brand new Kimber Select ones. These actually belong to my boss Terry. He's letting us use them for the um, and as well as the stands. He's letting us use them for the demo. Whoop. That goes around there into the back. You'll also notice we've got all of the uh, cabling as much as we can raised up off the floor. We do that for a few reasons. One, it's gonna prevent any um, extra noise or static noise that's coming off the ground from entering the cables or at least try and prevent it. Two, it looks really cool. Three, it's gonna 
somewhat prevent people from wanting to get their hands and feet in there and knock it over because no one wants to be that person who set off the domino train of all the cables falling over really do they but honestly i did it just because it looks cool and it does look cool in my opinion you'll notice we've got over here the signal and speaker wires running almost directly perpendicular to the power wire which is going underneath it's a really ideal thing to do if you can um, this one here we haven't been able to be as lucky just because of the length of our power cable it runs slightly parallel but if you can have your power and your signal and speaker wires perpendicular to one another that's going to prevent them from interfering with one another we've also got more of those sound deadening battens in the corners there acoustic battens so that's pretty much it guys that's the tour of the showroom this is how we're going to have it all laid out tonight um, we're going to have some 30 odd people here plus about 10 of us you know staff members from Denko, Soundline Christchurch, Soundline Wellington, Soundline Auckland. Hopefully it's going to be an awesome night. I'm going to try and take some uh, little video shots throughout the night. At the very least I'll definitely take some pictures. I'm running a time lapse as well and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. See you in a few hours. fields from the electronics and take the cover off and it sounds better. And these are, this is obvious, it's not subtle. It's just a beautiful country. Next time I'll have time to get around. So, Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Welcome. Is that an F type? Yeah. Go. Yep. <laughs> well, that's it guys. The event is over. Everyone has gone home. Um, all the guys are just through next door having a bit of a private listen to the $350,000 sound system. Sounds so amazing at the moment. Um, great night. Everything went really well. We think we've got a few people who may be interested in some new amps, a preamp, and Maybe the speaker's not really sure yet. Drinks were flowing, food was delicious, catering went well. Um, David from Audio Research had an amazing time. Everyone who came had an amazing time. All in all, a really successful night. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you th thought it was good. And I will catch you in the next video. Kakiteano.